What's up, guys? How you doing? Now, we're talking about what we're doing right here, right now. We're not talking about the past. We're putting everything else that happened before this moment behind us. 95% of these incarcerated men and women are returning to the community, with 68% returning back to prison in the first three years. There's a dichotomy here that we're struggling to fix. This is a country that's built on second chances, but it ends at the prison system. There's a huge amount of guilt with the men and women that have gone to prison. But through this college program that we've created, they're realizing that they can take their future and really make it very different than what they've seen in the past because education has given them those tools. As someone that went to prison, I know firsthand that this is one of the key components to helping fix this problem. When I was 16 years old, I shot and killed a person and uh, I received a 24 year sentence for that. When I tried to wrap my head around the fact that I took a human life, the world <laughs> got really small really quickly. And while I was sitting there thinking about how I failed everybody, one of the officers came to my cell and he just said to me, is there any chance I could get you to help me work with some of the other men? At that point in my life as a teenager, I thought I had no value at all. But as the older men pulled me on the side and said, man, I heard you can help me. You're one of the most educated guys around. So I began to read to these men in an effort to get them to learn to read and write. And you fast forward 19 years later, and we have 588 students, six sites. It's incredible. And it was all born and came right out of this place. The students will talk about this education. They talk about it being a new lens and how that new lens gives them a way to look at the world in a different way that they've never known even existed. I'm fourth generation male incarcerated in my family. I took my gift for numbers to become a drug dealer. I took my gift to gab to negatively peer pressure other people into getting in the game with me. The education was very important because I didn't realize the connection between what I already knew, my natural talents, and success. We want to work with the student that everyone else has given up on. This is an accredited degree-granting college program. Their degree does not say University of Sing Sing. It says Nyack College. It says Mercy College. It says Columbia University. I have seen the rippling effect of that one degree as it goes into their families, their children, their neighbors, their community. We are truly helping the community through this one person and this one degree. And we're looking at a very different future. <laughs> Welcome home, man. Yeah, babe. I need some clothes. Let's get some clothes. Let's, Let's do done. it. You know, my dream, man, always been to give back to, you know, some of the communities that I damaged because a lot of the kids that come up behind me, they look up to me for all the wrong reasons. So I want to change that. When the students are getting out and they get to this clothing area, for a lot of them, they left when they were teenagers. Now they're coming back in their late 30s or early 40s. There's no clothing. There's no nothing. All the education in the world is worthless if you don't have a clean shirt. We have 10 racks of business attire to help you be employable on the outside. That's good. Let's put this one on the side. Appreciate y'all, man. It's not just about how the community looks at you, but it's about looking at yourself and knowing that you could be different enough to start over. There's a quote by Victor Hugo that goes, there is nothing like a dream to create the future. Education made us who we are. Claudia Helvetius. Dr. Martin Luther King said the best way to solve a problem is to remove its cause. And you can't solve a problem with the same logic that created it. I'm proud to say that this, this June, I will be graduating with my bachelor's degree. The students that we're working with upon release, our alumni coordinator is finding them employment in five or six weeks. That's good if you've never been in prison. We're telling the stories about second chances. Through this college program that we've created, we have a less than 1% recidivism rate, but it's really a 99% success rate. We're sending a message of hope. 